Hello and welcome to our accounting lesson today where we will discuss the accounting dashboard. Today we'll be discussing the accounting dashboard, how you can manage widgets, how you can set up filters, rearrange the widgets on your dashboard, as well as some reporting found on that page. So with that, let's get started. The accounting dashboard can be found by clicking the accounting tab followed by dashboard in the drop down. Here you will see a number of widgets in which you can manage, rearrange, and set up filters. To manage your widgets, you can click the Manage Widgets icon to the far right of the page. This will issue a pop-up in which you can choose to rearrange by dragging and drop the widget names over to the sections. You'll see in the background that my dashboard has rearranged based on my dragging and dropping, so you can see your changes in real time behind the pop-up. If you want to hide any of the widgets that are already on your dashboard, you can choose the trash can option. You will be asked if you want to do that or not, and you can click OK or Cancel. But if you want to add that same widget to your dashboard again in the future, you can simply choose the widget and drag and drop back onto your dashboard as needed. Once you've rearranged and added the widgets that you want, you can choose Close to go back to the dashboard and see your changes. Each widget also has its own unique filtering ability. To filter, you can choose the Actions menu, which are the three dots on each of the widgets. By clicking the Actions menu, you can choose Settings, or you can choose Remove as well. However, by choosing Settings, you can go ahead and set up your filters. You can also rename your widget to fit your needs. For things like invoices, for instance, I can add customers to filter out for only the customers that I want to report on. I can add as many customers as I want to this widget to show information about the customers that maybe I have a working relationship with. Once I add the customers, I can choose close and you'll see my invoices widget has changed based on my filters. If we want to take away those filters, I can do so at any time by choosing the actions menu, clicking settings from the drop down, and I can simply remove those filters, choose close, and now my widget is showing the total without filters once again. Reporting widgets like the profit and loss, for instance, have date period capabilities. By clicking all, I can choose to report on a specific date period. For instance, last quarter, last year, this year, and more. I also have an actions menu here, so I can click settings and I can rename my widget as needed. So with all the tools we learned today, which include managing your widgets, rearranging your widgets, managing the filters on your widgets, and even selecting date periods which you want to report on for reporting widgets, you can manage your accounting dashboard and ensure that it works best for you.